Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're gonna be looking into getting more drives inside a Lenovo X3650 Model 3. I think I bought some parts that might um, help me achieve this. Not today because I know that I'm missing some parts but I, I am getting a lot closer. So um, let's go see the server and what I'm up to. So here it is, the Lenovo X3650 Model 3 and this one is equipped with 8 drives. I have more drives laying around. I have 4 drives here, I have another 4 drives here. It would be awesome to have room for 16 drives. That's the max this server in this configuration can handle. You can get some where there is more drives. In this model you can only put in 16 drives, which is still a lot. And which is gonna be um, a bit difficult because this is not something that you just do. So um, let's uh, open up the server and see why this can be difficult. This is the Lenovo X3650 Model 3. And over here is the RAID controller located. Underneath here is the base for the drives. And it has backplanes. Let's go see that close up. If we go around the table, it's pretty clear to see. Right here is the back of the drives and over here there is nothing. So these pieces of prints are missing over here. So if you pop in some drives here, there is no electronics behind it to, uh, to handle that. So in these servers, you will have to pop in some more electronics. And also, this RAID controller can actually handle 64 drives, I think it is. Um, but in this configuration, it can only handle 8. Um, you need a port extender to get more drives out of this. And port extenders for these servers are usually more expensive than the cards. If you want, you can put in two cards. If you have a, this RAID controller and you can get one just like it. And you would have to put at least one of them down here and to the PCI Express ports down down there. This one is also a PCI Express port, but it's located very convenient, uh, very close to the drives. So let's see what I got and if this will help me at all. This thing was something that someone recommended in the comments. So um, I looked at it and it, it comes with a little receipt here. And I paid $35 for this uh, and $8 shipping. And it got into the country without any problems. It's usually good when it comes out of China because they just don't give a shit about taxes and stuff. So, um, well, this is a backplane for this server and it's a dual one. Um, I haven't had this in yet, so I don't know if it's the first or the second backplane. Um, I could get into more trouble with the power cables, um, but we'll see how this goes. If I'm able to put this in, or if it's gonna tease me. I will disconnect power from the server, which is, uh, it's not on right now, but it is powered. So I need to remove that. There, on power. Let's see if I can plug that in and how it will um, work with the other stuff in here. I think I'll need to take out the rate controller here. That's gonna be in my way. Just until I get a little further. There's a power plug down here for um, powering this thing. As you can see, this has eight bays for hard drives, which uh, enables the next eight hard drives in the system. On the back, uh, there is connections here and that's for the first actually that's for the second of the eight and this one is for the first of the eight then there is a power connector here uh, to power the the drives and then there is a communication i'm not sure what else this could be but kind of a communication cable that also needs to be plugged in but i think this assembly is exactly the same that is in here already. I definitely see the, the power cable the, or the communication cable tucked around down here. 
So I'll try and pull that out. Yeah, we have that here. And I'm guessing that I will be able to, to unplug that and use the one that is in there. So this cable is like, this one goes down to the system board and it is divided out to, to the first eight drives. And then this one is for the second of the eight drives. So I'll keep that safe and we will try and plug this in. So I can, I can connect this as the first connector on this. How do we do that? I'll do that like that. This way. And we can pop that in. Also need to connect that one. Take out the fans would be easier. Would make it easier. There, it pops right in place. The problem is gonna be the cables and stuff. Um, and as you might see, these are way too short to get down there. I do have longer cables and that's kind of where I'm probably gonna be in trouble. Because I don't, I only have this one, I think. Well, I do have, I do have some here. They are a little bit longer. So they, they could reach a little bit longer, but they're not long enough. So, but I actually bought a cable like, like this one for an experiment that I did on the X3650 model one. And this cable should be long enough to go. This is able to go from one end of the server to the other end of the server for if you want to place a rate controller up here and connect it. Actually, this cable well, it's not gonna be too long, it's just gonna be long enough. But I would have to go order some more of these because I only have this one available. So that's that's the shortcoming of this video. I'm not gonna be able to, to actually do it because I only have that one. So, but I'm gonna plop that in. So I need to take this out again. See if I can do that. Okay, there it comes out. I'm gonna remove this connected cable and I'm gonna put in the longer one this one um, I see that this this comes out of a HP server it's it has an HP branding branding thing right there so apparently this is an an HP cable thing but it's the same system so even though it's made for an HP server, it will also work for this Lenovo server, no problem. There we are. And that will go down there and have to make it run nice and smoothly somewhere, somehow. Down there. but it would go down there. Awesome. Okay. Then we have the power connector and that goes in right here besides the other power connector. The power connector for the array is right down here. Um, and they call that the dash. D-A-S-D. I call it the dash. I don't know what they call it, but that's how I just pronounce it. So I'm sure that's the right way to say it. <clears throat> I'm not sure of that at all. So that goes in here. Uh, uh, it, it doesn't really want to go in there, but I am trying to get it to go in there. There we are. Okay, that is in. So it, it's actually connected now. Now we will just need to connect something to all of these to uh, use this board. But as I said, this controller card only has room for two of these plugs and can only handle eight discs as so. So 
you need to put in another card and I just happens to have one of those that would be able to handle this here it is it's a card that can handle 16 drives it's not as fast and it's not as cool and it is not as good as this one but it's able to handle 16 drives so my thought was that I was gonna play with mounting this but as said I need some of these cables first uh, when I do get those I can put this in the back here we might just put that in the back there just to see it so I could take this riser card up uh, remove oh, let's just remove this one the air filter thing or air blocker or what you call it put in the rate controller card with the four connectors here and pop that right in on this specific card it says down here that this is drive 0 to 3 4 to 7 8 to 11 and from 12 to 15 so a total of 16 drives so I would have to put this in in the right order and the one that the long one was the last one so that would have to go into this one let's do that right let's put that in here and we can put that in like that cool so I need to go and find three more cables at least of that sort if that was all in order I could remove these and I could start popping in drives just like um, otherwise and I really want to see how this looks I've never had a server like this these are all 164 gigabytes SAS drives um, this particular one we are installing right now has the PF standing on it which means that these drives has had predicted failures and I'm just keeping them around to play with like right now when they just have to look good so the next four drives here should be okay I haven't marked those with anything so I'm guessing they're good yeah. so 16 drives and you could actually put in bigger drives than this um, I did a previous video where I talked about different drives in this server and if we just look at some of them um, this one that's a regular hard drive taken out of a laptop PC and just put into an IBM slash Lenovo case here the same thing well that's not taken out of a laptop but this is a regular SSD drive Samsung you know the brand and this is a very very uh, popular drive for home use otherwise you can get the real Lenovo slash IBM drives the high-end server drives like this one which is a 50 gigabyte SSD uh, first generation this was very expensive it's from 2011 it's old other drives you could if you have cheap access to them you could get something from another vendor like this is from an HP uh, otherwise you just get a drive and install it and it should work so to get this to work you need the back plane up here you need a card that can handle the extra drives like 16 drives this is the uh, LSI 00167 I think it's called um, I'll put a link in the description also you need some of these internal SAS connectors uh, which is really odd you don't see those anywhere else outside of servers these are used for SAS connectors that are uh, 3 gigabits per second and 6 gigabits per second uh, when you come up to 12 gigabits per second they have changed the plugs they don't look like this anymore they are kind of square after that this is a little bit longer and um, has a lot of weird cables here uh, well I hope to get this up and running sometime soon when I uh, go order some longer cables like this the SAS connector cables and they're not very expensive I'll put a link in the description if you also uh, need something like this or if you just want to check what the fuck I'm talking about so uh, 
links in the description. Well, I'm really close at getting this up and running. This controller, the M5015, is really awesome. You can get a really cool extender card for this so that it can handle a lot more drives. But that card is more expensive, often more expensive than this card. And the option of getting two of these is also there. Then you're not gonna be able to make one array with all 16 drives in it because it will be controlled by two cards. Uh, that's where this card comes in because you'll be able to make an array with all 16 drives in one disk group or virtual drive because it's all on one card. I'm getting this solution for my M4 out in the data center and that should be in the mail um, in a week or so-ish. And we will of course have a very closer look at that when that arrives. I got that fairly cheap. Uh, I think I paid 60 pounds for that, uh, for an extender. It's a backplane with the built-in extender on it. So that will be able to extend the RAID controller that is built in on the system board of the M4 with an additional eight drives and the extender is built into the backplane of the backplane. Can you say that? You can't say that. We'll see that when that arrives. You could also go with uh, cheaper cards. Like this is a really cheap card that just has been taken out of a server and just have two of those cards and in the back of the server and then do everything in software and that would work really well. So to get this up and running, I just need some longer cables, three of them. That's three of them. So uh, I will go to the computer over there, go ordering some of those. So thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.